Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's vid- Oh, let me turn the AC down, hold on. <coughs> Hi. As you can see, I'm not in my usual studio setup. I'm actually in my car, not in the drive-thru for one. I'm gonna show you guys how we go from this crusty and dusty hair with roots that's super grown out into my Glammy F Silver Platinum hair that I am absolutely in love with. I've been doing variations of that color for the past year and a half or so, and I'm absolutely in love with it, so that's why I continue to go back and back and back to that color. The reason I have roots for days, it's literally been like over two months, I think, since I've done my hair. I just wanted my hair to get a little bit longer because right now I have it up, but I usually put it down as well. And when I had it down, it would only reach to about here and I wanted it to like here, you know, just extra. The more, the better. Just like your face with makeup when you don't wear makeup, it looks and feels a lot better. Same with hair, when you just let it rest and not do anything to it, it definitely feels like it holds up a lot better. It wasn't damaged or anything at all, but you can see how much it's actually grown in two months. My hair grows pretty quick, so I felt like just not coloring it or really doing anything to it or not trimming it either would obviously just help it grow. So here is what it's at now. You can see like down, down. It's basically almost to where I wanted it to. I do have some events coming up that I would like to look not crusty and dusty too. And that's why I'm here today at Sabino Salon to visit my friend and hairdresser, Maribel. I just got here to her salon and obviously I am not wearing makeup because why? <laughs> they offer being glam all the time, but makeup to get your hair done is just a little too much. Let's head in and see what magic can be done to this hair. Hello. <laughs> so here is the magical substance that turns my hair into my favorite color ever. Yeah. So we're just doing, of course, as you guys all know, a little bit of bleach. And FYI, if you guys have questions about colors, about formulas, about mixing stuff, you guys can go bug Maribel because this video is just showing you guys how I got the color and how I transform from black to silver. So check out my hair, this is the before. As you can see, it's obviously still pretty light, but here and there you can just see hints of a little bit of a brassy. Usually the color I aim for is about like a silvery, like icy platinum, it depends on like my mood. I used to get my hair a lot more ashy, you know how people say like purple shampoo, purple, purple, pur purple, to maintain blonde hair. Um, but I just feel like because my hair is so dark, whenever I apply anything that's purple, it just turns my hair this color, but a lot darker. Now the color I really aim to have and ask for is sort of a platinum icy color. And what that means it's a platinum blonde with a little bit more blue undertones in it. I just think that looks a lot more fun, a lot more flattering, especially out in the daylight with the light from the sky. Your hair just looks amazing. And just for reference, here is the color inspo. Of course, Maribel mixes a custom color for me. You can really see the difference between them. Um, this is, I'd say, like a neutral gray platinum silvery color. But this is what I want. Wow, Harry Potter is quaky. But these robes have like a little tie here, so you just look at that. Oh. <laughs> wow, I actually look like pretty skinny in this mirror. Oh my god, I never noticed. Skinny legend. So basically, these are the three things that will make the magic happen. Okay, so what do all these things do? Okay, so cotton is gonna protect your hair. This is all to protect your skin, your hairline. I really like that cotton because I feel like if I wouldn't have it with the heat, I naturally get really, really hot when I bleach my hair, which means the product is getting warm as well because it's obviously on my head. And that might make it run, but the cotton really helps to prevent it and keep it all in place so it doesn't leak here or leak anywhere and get all over my skin. So, this is called the Blonde Dimension by Reckon. I love it. This is my absolute favorite lightning powder you're in the chair of dreams <laughs> get rid of this bruise it is a composed mess but it's so not cute snatch this is what exactly what i was talking about the reason why i wanted to let my hair chill was so it can grow um obviously when it's like back and slick back it doesn't look nearly as long like nowhere as long but look at that i have so, I look like, a, I mean, I look like a troll, let's be honest. But, see, maybe I'm doing IG pictures as well. That is when I just put my hair down. It's like, can I speak to your manager? Process begins. Begins. How long do we usually take, like, applying the product, and how much do we stay with the product in the hair? Application takes about 
10-15 minutes mm -hmm. and we leave it in the hair for 45. Your hair is very thick and dark so we need the maximum time allowed. The reason why we're starting at the root is because it's where the darkest part of his hair is and we do not touch the blonde that he already has until the end. Do you feel like that's why a lot of people that try to do their own hair or maybe some people that aren't really too skilled in being blonde, that's why the hair doesn't end up coming out as exactly. well? Exactly. I think that the reason, the main reason why a lot of people can't reach this blonde is because they don't allow the hair to process as many times or as long as it has to to remove the dark. And I was honestly surprised, like as you can see, my hair is basically, this is like a, a natural black, black hair, right? Yes. At first, when I first started bleaching my hair, I was scared of bleaching, so I asked for, what was it? We, we still did a root, right? We did a root, we did highlights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll insert a picture right here. So we basically okay. just did a little bit on the tips. Eventually I said, I'm bleaching my hair, so might as well just do all of my Go head. And that's it. what we've been doing for like a little over a year and a half now. My hair is super dark with this process starting at the root and obviously um, a little bit here and there that I'll show you guys the uh, coloring the actual hair that's how we get my hair super light at first I thought I wanted my hair well I always ask for paper white right yeah <laughs> that's the goal but obviously my hair is naturally black so we have to be achievable because I want to keep my hair as healthy we can and we always have yeah. light in the hair like in a healthy way while well, my hair doesn't get damaged but still light at the same time however when I've compared my hair to people who even have naturally light hair obviously not like super super light hair but around kind of my hair darkness the hair is yellow, yellow. <laughs> it's not white it's actually a light like yolky yeah. yellow i mean i was gonna say i'd insert pictures but i don't want to do that like we're not going there today so we yeah. do roots on the outside just because they're the easiest to get right and then we go yes. like in between the actual in hair between the okay hair. first we do your whole head where the fresh new dark hair is because the rest of my hair is already light and like yeah. there's no yeah. reason for her to use this product on it right but where i do have hair that obviously hasn't been touched it's all grown out that's where we go ahead and start to lighten it this is what protects the ears this is probably my favorite thing that she uses aside from the bleach <laughs> <laughs> i like to joke around and say i have menopause sorry to uh, my female <laughs> viewers but it's like true like i just get heat flashes um, yes, you do. I really do. Like, I just get hot out of nowhere, which causes the product to warm up and come sometimes a little bit runny. runny. So, this cotton makes sure that my skin, which is literally the worst on the planet, extremely, um, sensitive. extremely sensitive, it doesn't get touched. And the reason why this is so quick and the processing takes a little bit longer is obviously one, because my hair is so dark, but two, Maribel actually doesn't use heat. I had my hair bleached once before she did my hair, and they did use heat, and I definitely felt like that just fried my hair. One of the really big common questions that I get is how is your not hair fried or how is your hair lightened all the time but your, your hairline is fine like your hair is not falling out and I think that's one of the big key factors not using the heat yes. when you are getting the hair lighter. As a stylist how would you describe the like not necessarily the, or the feeling the, the feeling of the bleach how would you describe that? It's itchy it's kind of like when you get a hydrogen peroxide on your fingertips and it itches. It's more like an annoying itch. I don't, I don't think I've ever got a hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have can't it. Relate. <laughs> no, can't relate. It's like a super slow down version of like pop rocks on your head. <laughs> like, it, like to me it doesn't feel like even itchy. It just feels like you can feel like little pinpoints. Tingly? Like little like what? one hair follicle at a time just like tingles. <laughs> but not the whole not the whole head like here and there. We're gonna keep working on this and we will check in with you guys very shortly about halfway covered in bleach. SOS emergency, this is what I mean right here. We have a clean up on aisle two, yeah. clean up on aisle two. <laughs> Getting closer to the front and once you finish covering just these remaining roots right here, all the roots on the head will be covered. And this is how we maintain our edges. Yeah. <laughs> no dripping here. Who is she? Donald <laughs> Trump who? <laughs> just kidding, his hair is yellow, mine's gonna be white. And now we just wait. Just sit here and wait. Wow, oh my god, my skin looks so good in this lighting. Look at this. Chill out, relax. Go on my phone and do nothing. Just wait. So it's been about what, like an hour ish? 45 minutes. 45 minutes uh -huh. since we have been marinating. And this Maribel just, just removed all the cotton. First round of bleach is just on the, the roof, and then we go ahead and basically even everything out. But here's what we are looking like so far before we wash anything out. So 
So look at how crazy this looks now. You just bleached out your roots, uh -huh. as you can see. Now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna re-bleach the orange out. It's a common maybe like myth or thought that people think like you bleach and you automatically go to the white. Yes, that is just what everybody wishes for and like assumes, but it's not. You have to go in levels. Is there some hair that, that does happen or no? Yes. If you're like naturally light, uh -huh. you're a, a real blonde, and you have like mousy brown hair, or very, the lighter your hair is, the more likely that you are to get light in one session. But whenever you have dark, dark hair like yours, anybody who is a level two, which is a dark brown or more, needs at least two bleaches. Has been processing on those parts that were a little bit orange now. Um, I think it's been another maybe 45 minutes or so. I haven't really been keeping track. So now all of this is going to be washed off, and from here, hopefully, everything is nice and even, and then we can do the color, which is what's actually going to turn it in sort of a platinum silver icy color. Here we go, washing out round of bleach number two. Mm -hmm. Is there a certain time you shampoo and condition, or is that like till the very end? I always, it just varies. Everybody's different, okay. but I like to wash your hair after the bleach and before toning. I want you guys to know that like by the time we're done ready to dry and style like my hair already feels soft um, and then Maribel does add a couple things that make it feel even better but nowhere throughout the process does my hair get damaged and then we try to repair it like it's good throughout the entire way. There's no breakage, there's no unhealthy anything, it looks beautiful. Now we're gonna tone out the Grassiness. Basically, the bleach takes all the color out of your hair, so it took out all the black, I guess. She's actually going to add in permanent color, which is what's going to give it the silver undertones. Now that we have completely pre-lightened his hair, and it's nice and strong and healthy, we are going to add our secret concoction. We are going to neutralize all those unwanted tones with this. So apart from the bleach, this is yes. the second part of the magic formula to having yes. flawless blonde hair. It's already neutralizing everything we don't want to see. Before you even think of toning, you have to get as much of that old pigment out of the hair. Do this all over my head, let it marinate for a little, and of course check back in for the next step. <laughs> You said marinade. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a marinade. I'm literally, whenever I do my hair, I feel like it's like a Thanksgiving You're food. baking. I'm baking. Yeah, no, this is the secret sauce. It's like the secret recipe's on my head, and I'm I a turkey. Okay, so we are all done now. It's time for us to get this dried to a light style and we will see the final result. The only drama we love is in the hair. <laughs> True. Are finally all done, but I want to take you guys outside to show you like the true color because you can see there's fluorescent lights in here which do not really show the true color of the hair. But let's take a look at what it looks like in daylight. Oh my god, okay, hopefully, yeah, you can see this. Look at my hair. So, as you can see, my hair is not fried, it is not damaged. Now, in direct sunlight, look at how amazing this looks. Oh my god, I'm blinded. I can't. I'm blind. Like, check out how absolutely sick it looks. Like, wow. So yeah, you guys, that, so yeah, you guys, you guys. <coughs> hey, 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 hey. There's no script here, okay? All right, so you saw what it looked like outside. Here it is in not direct sunlight. And also, Maribel, if you guys 
were wondering, the person <laughs> doing my hair throughout the entire video that didn't want to be in the video because she's under construction, she's actually about to get her hair done right now yes. as well. If you guys want to check her out, if you want to book her, um, come to Sabino Salon. Of course, I will be linking all her Instagram, all of her social media, phone, everything for the salon down below. But do you have any wise words of wisdom to share? <laughs> if you want the perfect blonde, come to me. <laughs> there you guys go. Uh, remember that she is a professional, so everything you saw were professional products and obviously a professional result. I wouldn't recommend doing DIY. If you guys want an in-depth video on how I maintain it and fun stuff like that, maybe even style it, let me know uh, because that's a whole another thing. Um, this was just the process of getting it, you know, just to really share with you guys my experience. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit different from makeup, but it's still beauty regardless. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to give the video a big thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button down below. Click the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.